Tyler Smith is one of the most exciting players on the Dallas Cowboys roster, a guy that was a pro bowler as well as a second team all pro in 2023, beating up on the opposition week in and week out, dominating this past season. He's a guy that wasn't a popular pick when he was drafted, but a guy that has versatility to play tackle or guard and has the ability to be exceptional at either position. The front office has a decision to make regarding the position they want him to be at. But me and you taking a look to see what this guy did at left tackle is a must just to see if this guy has what it takes to be able to protect the quarterback's blind side, if that's the direction that they choose to go. So on this play here, it's going to be a counter to Ezekiel Elliott, but you like to see your tackle being a sticky run blocker who has the ability to disrupt the defender's timing. And this wide receiver here, he's going to be pulling to the right and he's going to attack that safety. You're going to see some double team blocks, but the main thing is watching Tyler Smith going out there and being physical and finishing the play. And the better offensive linemen, they do this consistently. And this is the mindset that will separate him from the rest. So we'll go and spin the block. Zooming in on Tyler Smith, just seeing him being able to strike with his hands. The good thing about him playing that tackle position or that guard position, he has the ability to be able to shock you. As you can see, that defender, he's hopping to the right side. And that shows that this guy was pretty much hopping out of the play. The play didn't go his direction. But it was so easy for Zeke Elliott to slither right through the hole and go ahead for an easy touchdown. And these are the type of plays here that can be able to set the tone at the offensive line. And it's hard to be able to find a player like this. But seeing a guy continuing to be physical and driving his legs, that could be the difference between a mediocre play and a great play. Here's another play right here where Tyler Smith executed the assignment, having great balance, body control, and striking his opponent. And this is another one of those reps that I had to show you because this guy was playing to the whistle and he was doing this rep in and rep out. So we're going to run it. So just watching the posture from Tyler Smith, you want to be able to get your hands in the interior because a lot of times these refs, they call holding plays. But just seeing the drive from this guy, watching this guy's legs, once this guy can be able to clamp down and sink his anchor, he can be able to drive you away from the play. And it makes it so much easier when it comes down to these running backs because if they got an offensive lineman that can be able to blow a guy away from his spot and has the ability to be able to control them at the line of scrimmage, it just makes things easier for everybody on the offense. And this is the type of rep right here that slows down defenders once you get into the fourth quarter. Here's a clip right here of him going up against Aiden Hutchinson. And he's one of the premier pass rushers in this league. So it's always good to be able to go against this player. And the thing is, if you're playing that tackle position, you're going to be going up against some top-notch guys. So this is always good work. And with Tyler Smith, he's one of the guys that you're not going to have a lot of success with trying to bull rush and attempting to overpower him. And that's the mistake Aiden made on this play. So let's run it. Keying in on Tyler Smith. You see the footwork from this guy. He looks smooth with his kick slide. It's good to be able to see that from this player, but watching Aiden Hutchinson trying to bull rush him. And that was the biggest mistake that Aiden Hutchinson made because that's exactly what Tyler Smith wants you to do. And he did drive him back a little bit, but Tyler Smith was able to torque his body. Next thing you know, it stumbled Aiden Hutchinson and this guy was going for the ride. And it makes it easier for guys like Dak Prescott to escape. And the most devastating part of this finish block is when Tyler Smith lands. With his full weight and power, sitting on Aiden Hutchinson and knocking this guy in the dirt. You love to see these type of plays, Cowboys Nation. And whenever you can be able to have a play where you can be able to completely wash a guy to the right side, sometimes these defenders, they end up making these bonehead type of plays because they underestimate the power of some of these left tackles. You don't want these guys going out there and getting hurt. But the thing is, if you can be able to wash a guy completely out the play, give Dak more time, this is how you can be able to go out there and extend plays and cook Cowboys Nation. One thing he's going to have to look out for is if he's playing that tackle position, they're going to be finesse, quick twitch type of pass rushers that know how to use their hands hands guys that can be able to use club moves ghost rushes and rip moves so making sure that you're on top of it and knowing what these defenders are trying to do is imperative especially if you don't want to get your quarterback blasted so we'll go ahead and run it so just watching Aiden Hutchinson winding his arms in slow motion it's always good to be able to see this because when he wanted his arms like this it caught Tyler Smith off guard and he was able to rip up and usually whenever these guys can be able to rip, they are the ones that got leverage and they can be able to drive right to the quarterback and get the sack. 
and you don't want things like this to happen when it comes down to the offensive tackle position because all it takes is one quick rip move catch a guy off guard and it can get you in trouble because a lot of these defensive ends they have the speed to get after the quarterback quickly so making sure you're aware of what these pass rushers are trying to do on a consistent basis will be critical if tyler will have success if he's going to be at that tackle position final play here i like to see the balance and body control from a guy like tyler smith at that tackle position sometimes you just got to get in the way from guys but this was a good rep because tony pollard was able to read it inside and get about eight or nine yards on a play and plays like this can be able to open up the whole playbook when you can be able to get those tough yards in between the tackles it just makes things easier for running backs so let's run it so watching tyler smith force himself into that guy's inside shoulder and just seeing the running back be patient it's so good to be able to see this from a guy like Tyler Smith, because if you can be able to have leverage like this, you can create a wall and it allows your running back to go out there and have a lane and he can go out there and cook. And with a lot of these offensive linemen in the NFL, they are not aware of these type of plays like this. And these are the type of plays here that can keep the whole playbook open. And seeing this guy going out there and dominating that guard and tackle, this is how you can be able to separate the men from the boys when it comes down to that offensive line. So with guys like Tyler Smith, I think that he is one of the more better offensive linemen in this league. Having extreme versatility to be able to play guard and tackle is really, really hard to find. But there are going to be so many questions when it comes down to the offensive line this year. That left tackle position is going to be very important. Can they go out there and go pick up a guy in the draft to play that left tackle position? If not, you're going to have to stick a guy like Tyler Smith there. So I'm torn in between the two. I know that he's good at guard, and I know that this guy can be a dominant tackle as well, but you have to be able to get that offensive line right. Because if this guy kick out at left tackle, there will be questions at the left guard position as well as the center position. Brock Hoffman did do good last year, but does he have the IQ to be able to play that center position and hold it down for everybody on the offensive line? So comment below and let me know what you think that these guys should do because I feel as though that this guy can be able to be dominant at both but they got to make sure they get this offensive line right because it's going to be critical for these guys' success going forward. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't hit it, you'll miss some fire live streams and unique breakdowns. All right, Cowboys Nation. Talk to y'all soon. Gone.